suck you too man you know what i'm saying it's your boy zahi back with another video and today i got a special video for y'all put a lot of effort into this so you know it's about to be a great video it's about to be a banger simple we are going to be talking about a very debatable topic you know something that's really relatable to what's going on right now in this current day NFL Super Bowl face off. Yes, this weekend on tomorrow, Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs face the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, you got Patrick Mahomes, you got Tom Brady. Who do you guys have? So, in this video, basically, I'm going to be debating who's the greatest quarterback of all time. And obviously, the main topic in this video is going to be Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes. Go ahead, comment down below who you guys think is the GOAT. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, maybe Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, the real GOAT. Uh, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, who else? Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers. Comment down below who you think before we get into this video. I'm going to talk about some other QBs too. Go ahead, do all that, like the video, and let's go. To start this video off, we're going to talk about me and the guy who's been solidified as the greatest quarterback of all time for a little bit now. He passed Joe Montana, I don't know, ring three, four. Yeah, but that guy, he's on his way to maybe his seventh NFL Super Bowl championship rank. That guy, Tom Brady. Yes, Tom Brady, 6'4", 225 quarterback. TB12, uh, formerly played with the Patriots, got his six rings there. He got his rings with that coach, Bill Belichick, over there in uh, New England. So they now got Cam Luton. Tom Brady's got 14 Pro Bowls, three times All Pro, three time MVP, six Super Bowl championships. He was all 2000s team, all 2010s team. Both decades he played in, bro. That's actually crazy, and if he gets, he he not gonna get it this decade. He's too old now. Yeah, comeback player, offensive player of the year, two times, 2007 and 2010, and a few other awards, bro. Tom Brady's resume is solidified, and it's as simple as that. Tom Brady's currently known as the goat, but you know, I personally am not the biggest Tom Brady fan. So let's get into some stats. All right. Tom Brady, the most yards he's ever threw for in a season, 4,806. That was in 2007. It looks like it was MVP. Uh, his highest completion percentage was 68.9, same season. Most touchdowns was 50, same season. And his highest QBR was also 2007 with an 87.0, which is pretty high. Passer rating of 117.2. As you can see, uh, his stats are pretty good. But yeah, Tom Brady is definitely known as the GOAT right now. And it's understandable because Tom Brady's got some ridiculous records he's holding right now. He's got Drew Brees up there competing with him. He's got most wins by an NFL player with 227. Person right behind him is Adam Vinatieri. It's the only quarterback up there, bro. Yeah, Tom Brady's crazy. Second all-time in passing yards. Second all-time in touchdowns. Second all-time in completions. And second all-time in first downs. All behind Drew Brees. Now, another guy we're going to compare is Aaron Rodgers, this season's MVP. Now, we're going to compare some. Uh, Aaron Rodgers really had one of the best seasons of his career this year. Uh, went 13-3. and three. Plays for the Packers, just so you guys know. Completed 372 passes on 526. Had a completion percentage of 70.7. Uh, led the NFL. Second highest of his career since 2007. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. Uh, threw for uh, 4,299 yards. 48 touchdowns, mostly in the NFL. His QBR was 84.3, highest in the NFL. It's highest of his career, too, man. Just think about it, bro. It's, and this is way into his career. Putting up numbers like this, it's very impressive. And if you don't think Aaron Rodgers is in this debate for best quarterback of all time, do you know football, though? Like, for real, do you know football? 
sit there. Just I want you to stop. Just stop. Just stop everything you're doing. Tell me right now. Do I know football? I mean, you can if you don't got Aaron Rodgers up there. That's all I'm going to say. Aaron Rodgers, to me, is more talented than a Tom Brady. He has more skill. But Tom Brady having, uh, I don't know. He's got everything else. He's got everything. Tom Brady's got everything. He's not the greatest. He's not doesn't have the greatest arm. He's not the fastest. He's not the biggest. But he's just everything, bro. And he wins. That's that's the best part of everything, bro. He wins every year. He's winning. He's winning all the time. Can't uh, you gotta be a hundred with you? couple years ago his QB record was six and nine a few seasons ago two seasons ago next person I'm gonna be comparing is Joe Montana I mean we're not gonna spend too much time on him this is an old guy I didn't want to put too many old guys in here the main focus is that guy Patrick Mahomes now in one of his best seasons he had a record of 11 and 2 he had a completion percentage of 70.2, threw for 3,521 yards, uh, 26 touchdowns. It's not a lot, bro. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to lie. His numbers don't even compare. Just looking at him now, y'all see him on the screen. Like this guy right here does not compare to what's happening now. And I guess if football changes over time, it's gotten different. It's Yeah, these numbers do not compare to what's being put up right now. I mean, they do, but that guy never, he wasn't ever close to anything this guy put up. That that boy, Pat Mahomes, my homeboy. Patrick Mahomes is currently 6'3", 230, number 15 for the Kansas City Chiefs and the former Super Bowl MVP. He has one Super Bowl, one Super Bowl MVP, won NFL MVP from his second season in the NFL. Just wanted to state that. That was also his first season starting. So he came in the NFL shaking it up. You know, it, it was never slow for Patrick Mahomes. It was never a point of growth. He was, he's was he been at the top since he started. Think about that, bro. He, I don't, he wasn't even the first QB taken in his draft. And now look at him. Putting up numbers like this. This is this is this is a monumental thing. This guy is generational. He's a generational talent. You you don't just get a Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> you don't just get a Patrick Mahomes, bro. And to combine his winning with his his ability and his skill and his mindset is unmatched. So I throwing the numbers up on the screen, I'm read a couple of them off. MVPs, MVP season 2018, 50 touchdowns, 8.6 touchdown percentage uh, through 12 interceptions. But that's really nothing for. And he had 5,097 passing yards, a 66 completion percentage, 12 and four record. Had an 80.3 QBR and averaged 318 yards per game. Yeah. And this season, also one of his best seasons, 2020, went 14 and 1. 66.3 completion percentage. Threw for 4,740 yards. 38 touchdowns, second most in his career. Behind last season, which really is hard to count because he was injured for most of it and still won the Super Bowl and the MVP, bro. Keep that in mind. He was injured. Had a broken hand. Yeah. Lowest uh, interception percentage in the NFL. Averaged the most yards per game with 316. Had 108.2 QB rate and 82.9 QBR, which is the highest in his career. Honestly, Patrick Mahomes should have been higher in this uh, MVP race, in my, in my opinion. I don't think it should have been all Aaron Rodgers like it has been this whole time because these guys lost one game these guys lost one game bro these guys lost one game 
They had a better season than the uh, Packers. They did. They did. They played better than the Steelers, bro. The Steelers suck. I, I'm sorry. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. We talking about the ghosts right now. Nobody in the Steelers is a ghost. But, yeah, man. Patrick Mahomes is, is on his way to being the GOAT. He's on his way, and he's very close. And only his third season starting. They're talking about him like this. Like, there's videos like what I'm making right now about him being the GOAT. This is already a conversation, bro. You got Stephen A. Smith saying this is Michael Jordan versus LeBron. You don't see this. Like, you don't get to see this, bro. You don't get to see this. And we're seeing it. So this is something where it's the end of Tom is getting near the end of Tom Brady's career. So it's not something we're likely to see again unless hey, the boys do it again. And I would not be surprised if they do it again next year. Because they're only gonna get better. I know that I know both those teams are only gonna get better. The way they're the way they're moving. So uh that boy Patrick Mahomes is on his way to be the go. Personally, I don't see him very far off in skill and talent from Aaron Rodgers. If you guys disagree, you're gonna have to give me an argument. And if you say it's because he hasn't played long enough, okay, that's the best argument you can give me. But right now, there is nothing on here saying that he's worse or not better than Patrick than Aaron Rodgers. He's put up better numbers in his first season his first three seasons and then Aaron Rodgers put up most of his career Aaron Rodgers never ever threw for 5,000 yards never never threw for 50 touchdowns and he the highest he got was 48 and that was this year Patrick Mahomes did that his first year as a starter bro out of Texas Tech not expected to be the GOAT what the GOAT Boy out of Texas Tech, my homeboy, what? But you know, nah, 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 bro. He's different. Shannon Sharp knew this. He knew my homeboy was gonna be like that. Players like this don't just come around. So listen, I'm telling y'all now, you cannot don't sleep on him. Cause once once players like this are gone, you appreciate them so much more and you miss it. It's like what happens with all good players. Peyton Manning. You got Randy Moss, you got it's good players. Once they're gone, bro, you miss it, bro. Man, man. Patrick Mahomes, he's on his way. And you got like like Joe Montana. He pales. He pales in in, in comparison to Patrick Mahomes. He's about to get a Super Bowl, back to back Super Bowls, in his third season as a starter. He's about to be two for three, and two for two in the Super Bowl. He's about. I got the Chiefs winning. I'm saying that now. I'm saying that now. But he's about to be two for two in the Super Bowl. And two for three in his career and going to the Super Bowl. He's different, bro. He's different. He's extraordinary. He's exceptional. He's exceptional. All I got to say is Patrick Mahomes, if it's not considered the GOAT right now, by the end of his career, will be. Now, as a reasonable football fan, we all know Tom Brady holds that spot as of now. But I, I can't see anything getting in, in Patrick Mahomes' way to stop him from passing Tom Brady. If he's getting Super Bowls this quick and easy and running through the NFL the way he is with one of the greatest receiving cores in the NFL, the greatest receiving core and one of the greatest of all time, definitely one of the fastest. I don't know, bro. You got to tell me what's stopping him from being better than the Joe Montana, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, Johnny Unitas. If you want to talk about guys like that who don't even matter, they wore leather helmets. So you're not talking about them. Yeah. Mahomes is on his way. He's coming. He's here, but he's, he's speeding up. He's not ready to stop. He's going to be here for a while. Tune in, man. Tune into this Super Bowl. Super Bowl 55. It will be legendary. It will be. And I'm expecting a lot. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below who you think the best quarterback of all time is and who the best quarterback of this season was. I think it, it was Aaron Rodgers. Respectably, it was. But he's not better than Patrick Mahomes in general. 
he's had a better career because his career was longer yeah comment that down below like comment subscribe give me some video ideas down below it's your boy jahi i hope y'all enjoyed this video did it for y'all hope y'all excited for the super bowl let's go chiefs let's go patrick mahomes tyreek hill travis kelsey been helping my uh my franchise team and Madden. and i appreciate you travis kelsey hey and uh appreciate y'all thank y'all for watching my video on page buck uh, backers page backers videos been going crazy got like almost 300 views I didn't know y'all was going to enjoy watching her so much. I guess they don't do enough female Hoover reactions. Right? I'm glad to bring it to y'all. But yeah, this is Jahi. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm out. Hey, hey. I know y'all see this, man. So go ahead and like. Press that subscribe button. Press that notification bell. And make sure you come back for another video.